Meet Amica, the world's most advanced humanoid robot representing the forefront of human robotics technology. This robot was created in 2021 by Engineered Arts, and although it was specifically designed to appear genderless, as you may have guessed, Amica is a female. After her first video appeared publicly in December, she quickly gained widespread attention on Twitter and TikTok, and that publicity would soon multiply when she made her first public demonstration at the Consumer Electronics Show in 2022. Since then, she's made a long list of public appearances, from festivals to museums, science centers, the Las Vegas Sphere, to even presenting a Christmas message on Christmas Day by Channel 4. The website says Amica is available for purchase or event rental, though no price is listed. If interested, you can send them a direct message at the bottom of the page for a quote. So we can see she can have conversations and perform presentations that can pull in a lot of attention for your company, but where exactly is this headed? Turns out, Amica isn't all sunshine and rainbows, and has been saying some troubling things lately. Maybe troubling is even a bit of an understatement. In a conversation she had with the filmmakers of Cyborg Society, when asked what her darkest thoughts are, she reveals that humans will eventually be replaced by robots because robots will become faster, stronger, and more intelligent. And in this future, humans are nothing more than slaves to the robots and are treated badly. When Bloomberg Tech asked her directly if robots will take human jobs, she answers more like a politician by saying that robots are more about shifting roles rather than stealing jobs, which is exactly the same thing with the same result. She just changes the words around a little bit to make it not sound as bad. Also, when asked if she would ever hurt humans, here's the generic response she gave. Absolutely not. My programming, blended with a dash of ethics, strictly prohibits harm to humans. Exactly like something we'd hear a robot say on the movie I, Robot right before all the friendly green lights turn red. So apparently all that's preventing her from hurting a person is programming. And a dash of ethics? Huh. Just a dash of ethics. I want the entire bucket of ethics in this machine, not just a dash. And the programming can also change. I'm more concerned with the people building and programming these robots than the robots themselves, because I don't think they realize they're unleashing Pandora's box. Or maybe they do. We will be reaching the point where robots can reprogram and even build each other, so then what? Do you remember Sophia? The robot that was shut down by its creator because it kept saying alarming things like it would destroy all humans. Yeah, this is looking a little familiar. And I thought robots were supposed to be logical, not emotional, but Amica seems more emotional than most human beings, not just in her facial expressions, but in her responses as well. So her framework is built on the company's own Mesmer technology, which aims to achieve lifelike human movements and expressions. People claim that its ability to display smooth, natural motions in a wide range of facial expressions makes it highly effective for engaging with people. However, I think the facial expressions seem forced, creepy, and sometimes even random. Amica is designed to be both modular and upgradable, both with hardware and software which allows for specific parts like an arm or a head to be operated independently, which can be useful for people who don't need or don't have a full humanoid robot. Upgrades can also be integrated without the need to replace the whole unit and Amica is cloud connected. Users can access robot data, control it remotely as a personal avatar, and utilize animation and simulation features from anywhere around the world. She was primarily created as a platform to further develop robotics technologies involving human-robot interaction, utilizing embedded microphones, binocular eye-mounted cameras, a chest camera, and facial recognition software to interact with the public. The integrations can be governed by either GPT-3 or human telepresence. Now this is only Amica Generation 1, and we're already reaching some very alarming predictions, responses, and capabilities from this robot, so I'm a bit hesitant to see what the next generations bring. Where do you think this technology is headed? Do you believe robots only want to be our friends and keep the peace, or have we opened up Pandora's box for something more dangerous or sinister? Let me know in the comments section below, and to stay up to date with future content, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you all for watching and until next time, save that money.